Hello everyone. This is going to be a quick rundown on how to how to do uh, do it yourself uh, uh, mainline hookup. So I'm setting up a little organic farm down here in southwest Florida in uh, Collier County, right between Naples and Immokalee. And I uh, pulled the permit to hook up uh, to the grid so I can um, power my pump and I can uh, install an irrigation system. So far my neighbor was helping out with water, you see the hose over here and uh, the line is gonna come from that pool. Uh, our service here is LCEC and I don't know about uh, other states but here in Florida you are allowed to uh, to uh, do the owner builder thing where where you do all the work yourself and uh, you call in for inspection and if everything checks out so you don't need to hire a contractor I couldn't afford to hire a contractor so I kinda had to uh, you know, had, had no choice had to do it myself anyway so it's a good idea to check your uh, check with your electrical company download the handbook from uh, from their website and check all the requirements as far as the pole goes and uh, the distance the type of uh, meter and the distance uh, from the ground so they have uh, these uh, drawings where they show all the all the measurements and stuff like that so I got a pole it's a 20 foot uh, long pole and it was required to, to put five feet in the ground and uh, so uh, this is gonna be a 200 amp service I bought a panel this is an outdoor panel yeah, you gotta make sure you get an outdoor panel it's a square D outdoor panel 200 amps and it has a bunch of slots uh, the cover is, is somewhere buried right there let me show you the cover too so yeah don't buy yeah so this is the cover bunch of slots and the paper on the other side so you can write uh, for each uh, breaker what it is so don't buy uh, a meter before you check with your uh, electric company for example at SCC they're gonna bring their own meter when they're gonna hook up the service and also check the requirements like how far to be uh, like for example here you have to be I think within 80 80 80 feet uh, from the main line otherwise they they have to bring in a line just like they did with my neighbor they brought in this line but I told them I would like to hook up to that uh, pole so they don't don't have to bring another line because it's gonna be in the way I'm gonna plant a lot of trees over there on the mound so they said it's not a problem it's only 60 foot away so it's fine so yeah so 200 amp uh, service this is this is kind of standard nowadays 100 amp would have been enough for the farm but uh, I'm planning to build a house later on so far I only have this little building here the the well house and the little farm office but I'm planning to uh, to build a house an earth earth back house I got rocky so uh, so yeah so you're gonna need a panel you can need a, uh, a meter can it's like $40 the, uh, the panel with the main breaker I don't know if you can see it but there's a main breaker here 200 amp main breaker and uh, this was $140 the meter can was like 40 bucks the pool was uh, $60 from Jack and Ann Jack and Ann's from Immokalee and a 2 inch PVC conduit uh, 4 slash 0 aluminum cable which is the according to the NEC that's, uh, that's what you need and actually you can see I got the cable from Lowe's Home Depot does not carry aluminum cable only copper but the copper is much more expensive 
So go to Lowe's, get it for $1.89 uh, a foot for all three, not, not for a single cable. If you go to a supply house, electrical supply house, they wanted to charge me $4 per foot for single cable. So, it, so yeah, and I got this whole like a 20 foot cable for like 30 something dollars. Anyway, let's move on. So I have three uh, three conduits going in, the half inch conduit for the for the ground wire, which is an eight foot uh, copper rod. That's standard from uh, from Home Depot. I put two clamps on it, but one I think one should do it too. So you clamp the the clamp is like 150. So you clamp the the wire onto the rod. I use this this thing to uh, to punch uh, punch that rod into the ground and then I used uh, the half inch half inch uh, PVC conduit and I, I I secured the wire right here and then I put another piece up to the meter can which it might not be necessary but we'll see what the inspectors say so the three, three lines coming in, these are two hot wires, one neutral in the middle, same thing, I cut uh, three more pieces going from the meter can down to the panel, secure it, and I actually applied, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I applied the uh, paste at the end where the aluminum is exposed, so it do doesn't oxidize, then you put the screw in, See the green screw that comes with the panel box binding screw. And here's the hookup. I have four wires going to the well, well house. This is 12 gauge. I recommend you get 12 gauge. Because if you want to put 20 amp breakers, you need the 12 gauge wire. For 14 gauge, uh, you can only use 15, uh, 15 amp breakers. So one hot wire to the breaker, the red and the black. One for each. The green is the ground, and the white is the neutral. Doesn't really matter. My electrician friend said this can go on either side because they are all connected, so it don't matter. So I have another. I have a one-inch empty conduit. I'm gonna show it to you over there. That's gonna go to the farm office. I just wanted to get it inspected uh, with the with the underground inspection so I don't have to dig another ditch when when I'm ready to hook up power to the farm office and the three quarter inch conduit is going to the farm office I'm um, to the well house so yeah metal screws here and uh, yeah I couldn't find a half inch metal screw that might be an issue let's see what the inspector says and yeah I used the, the, the silver the gray uh, electrical glue and primer so yeah, all the pipes are uh, all the pipes are uh, primed and glued together so this is pretty much it on on this side i used two uh, two clamps on the two inch pipe and of course you need the weather how do you call that thing up top weather weather head or something on the top of the two inch pvc pipe these are all standard parts you can get these at uh, at Home Depot, of course, you you need uh, the coupling at the end, and these two pieces you have to buy them separate. This piece and and this piece, and then the rest is just a piece of PVC and two couplings. All right, moving on to the pipe. The pipe has to be the pipes have to be at least 18 inch on the ground, 18 inches. And if you go, if you go down to 24 inches, then you don't need a conduit. But I wanted to use a conduit to protect my uh, my wires. So this is the one inch um, uh, PVC with a pull cord. So we're gonna leave this out later on uh, when I'm ready to hook up power over here, over there for the farm office. I'm gonna dig another trench here. And uh, just pull in the pull in the wire. Of course, this this uh, 
I'm gonna install a door here and siding so it's all protected inside because I didn't use a waterproof uh, box in here so here's the box with the three uh, three quarter inch pipe coming in I, I punched a hole uh, on the slab over there to bring in the pipe just secured it to this uh, to this board so so I have 20, 20 amp breakers I don't know if you can see it says, says right there 20 amps and as you can see the the hot wire the red and the black goes on uh, on the yellow side where it's it kind of looks like gold like copper that's where the hot wire goes the black the same thing and on the other side you put the the, the ground where the silver you see the silver screw here so one dedicated line uh, uh, one dedicated dedicated hotline for each and then you split up the the ground and the neutral basically you uh, just cut two two short pieces of wire and uh, with the wire not you just twist them together and one end goes here ground ground and uh, uh, the neutral where the silver screws are and that's pretty much it I'm gonna leave this out so the inspectors can check them out and I just put it in and put a, put a face plate on it and uh, and that's it so yeah let's see how it goes I'm waiting uh, today I have the underground inspection uh, scheduled and I uh, I want to show the inspectors everything so they can let me know if 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 it's all good for the final inspection if not I can correct uh, whatever needs to be corrected and once I get the final inspection then LCC is going to come out they're going to drop a line from there and hook up my service and that's that all right this is it my friends I hope it was helpful if you have any questions post them uh, down below thanks and yeah it cost me about five six hundred dollars to buy all the